Hey everybody, this is Brett and today I'm going to be showing you how to put on your doors off mirror kit from Mopar onto your Jeep Wrangler. I'm also going to be showing you the proper way to take your front doors off of your Wrangler and how to store them. And so it's a two for one video and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's get right to it, grab your coffee and uh, let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you take your doors off is find a couple of two by fours. If you're going to be taking all four doors off, grab four two by fours. And then you're gonna to wanna to take these two by fours and set them up against a wall so that when you store your doors, the paint is gonna be sitting on the wood and it's not gonna scratch on your concrete or tile or wherever you may be storing the doors and wrecking the paint underneath. So that's just one of the first things you wanna do before you- So on this Wrangler, we're gonna be doing the Jeep JL Doors Off Kit and it is part number 685-28773AA. Uh, if you want to search that on the internet or just call your Jeep dealer, they should be able to order you some um, from the Jeep dealer. This one came with the vehicle. It was a $195 option from the factory to get this box. You can see it just comes in a box and we're gonna open it up right now. You wanna be very careful not to hit anything inside. So I'm going very shallow on this cut on the tape and it opens up like so. And this is how they come out. And uh, you can see they're just in a bag like that. This is how they look. And that's how they go. And we'll show you how to put these on and get right to it. So for my first pro tip of the day, you're gonna wanna do this one simple task before getting started, and that's putting all the windows down in the doors that you're gonna be taking off. You're gonna wanna do this for two reasons. Number one, it's easier to carry them with the windows out of them. Number two, while you're storing them, it's easier to not break the windows uh, if they're down safely inside the door. So that's my first pro tip of the day. Let's get to the tools. So before we get started, you're going to want to make sure you have all the right tools to take your doors off and to get those mirrors on. One thing to note, this is going to be good for the Wrangler and the Gladiator. So this is a dual purpose video. When you get the doors off mirror kit, you're going to get two packages with that and it's going to have the hardware. There's the part number for one and here's the part number for two. And they're going to come with two bolts, a long one. I believe this is for the bottom of the door and then this one I believe is for the fender, it comes with a spacer and a washer on it. And then you're going to want to also have your Jeep uh, tool kit. If you don't have a tool kit, you're going to want to get a ratchet, a Torx 40 bit, and then a Torx 50 bit. Jeep gives you these uh, with your Wrangler, and uh, if you don't have them, you can get them at the hardware store. I recommend Fleet Farm uh, just to get a couple of those tools. So. You can feel free to pause this if you didn't get these instructions. But it's pretty self-explanatory and once I show you in the video, you probably won't need them. But anyways, that's that. Now we can get to taking our doors off and you're going to want to... So the first thing you're going to want to do to get these doors off is to undo the electrical. So the first thing you're going to want to do is this pl plastic piece right here. It pulls out, so get your fingers in there and just pull it towards you. And it's got a couple quick disconnects that come out like so. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is there's the release right here. You're going to want to push this red tab up until it snaps and that'll allow you to release this. So what you can't see is there's a black tab right here. You push that in while pushing the white piece up. So that'll release like so, and then you push it all the way up. It should kind of snap, and those pieces come out and you get your electrical out like so. Now you can remove the strap holder right here, and that just kind of slips over that like so. Now you have the whole electrical disassembled. Back in the day you wouldn't want to do that on your JK because then your doors could swing wide open. No longer a problem. They have this arm right here. 
Now you're gonna wanna wait to take this off until the end and I'll show you why. But let's get the rest of the door bolts out right now. So next you're gonna wanna get your door hinges off. Um, recommended from one of the YouTube watchers. Uh, they recommend putting a piece of cardboard behind there so you don't wreck your paint when you're undoing these. But you're just gonna wanna grab your tool kit, Torx 50 on this one, and just take these bolts out. And of course you're using the cardboard so your ratchet doesn't hit the paint and chip the paint, etc. After a little bit, they'll become loose enough to uh, come out like so, and that's what they look like when they're out. Get the top one out, and then we can put these door hinge bolts in our door hinge holder in the back of the vehicle. What's interesting is that the top one seems to be a lot longer than the bottom one. And it is. No, they're the same size. So anyways, now put these in your storage area and we're just about ready to take the door off. All right, just put your bolts right in the door hinge holder. If you take all the doors off, there's eight spots. So easy as that. All right, so the last step in getting these doors off is to remove this bolt here. Now they give you the Torx 40 that's longer and that's because you wanna be able to get that ratchet in there like so. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the door is all the way open when you do this because this piece has to stay out when you store your doors. Otherwise, getting this door back on is really a pain and you have to like pull this piece out because it gets sucked into the door. Uh, so you want to make sure that this stays out when you're taking these off and storing them. So these are torqued a little bit harder than the rest of the bolts. But once that does come, they come off pretty easy. And that's the uh, other pro tip of the day is to make sure that the door hinge holder stays out. Once you get them so far, you can just finger loosen them like so. And they come out and I'm sure once they're out, you're gonna wanna put these back in so you don't lose them. But let's take the doors off now. So we're almost ready to take these doors off and you're gonna wanna, like I said before, get the two by fours and set them up against the wall uh, or near the wall. You're gonna wanna be about four to five inches away from the wall so you're gonna have enough space to lean the door up against the wall. Um, so I would say four to six inches away from the wall should be pretty good, but you're gonna wanna have it set up something like this. So now that you have your electrical undone, your hinge holder undone, and your outside hinges undone, you're ready to take your door off and put it in your designated storage area. What you're gonna wanna do is grab the inside of the door. Note, that's why we got the windows down. And then you're gonna wanna grab on the bottom of the door when you're removing it for uh, better leverage and that making sure everything stays even. So I just wanna get those, kind of lift them up like so. And they'll come right out of there. And just like that, you can see that's how I'm gripping the inside of the door. And now we can take it to our designated storage area against the wall. I'm just gonna put it back in so you can see how to put these back in. You wanna do it nice and slowly so that you don't chip the paint and you don't put that hinge in. All right, that's how it should look when you're ready to reassemble everything. I'll show you how to place it against the wall right now. So ideally you'd like to be placing the door facing the wall, the painted side by four, and that sits on there nicely and make sure it's not gonna slide. Um, and that's how I recommend putting them down. You can also get wall holders where you got two bars that hold onto the door like so, but that's how I store them uh, if I don't have wall holders. Okay, so before getting your mirror on, you gotta do two things. Number one, you gotta get this plastic piece out of here and you have to get this bolt out. So this is the T40 bolt 
And then this one you're gonna have to try, I was able to get my fingernails in there and just kind of pull back on it. There's a couple of quick disconnects. And once you get that, you can kind of turn it and get that out. The instructions are absolutely awful on showing how to do that. Anyways, uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your T40 and get this bolt out right here. So that's what that looks like when it comes out. Make sure you store this in a safe spot, glove box, back storage area, wherever you're gonna put it, you're gonna remember where it's at. Now we can put the mirror on. All right, now that you have your plastic piece off and your door or, and your bolt out of your fender, you're gonna wanna grab the bolt that they gave you from the doors off kit. You're gonna wanna take that spacer out of there, leave the washer on, and now we can get this mirror on here. So the reason we had to take this plastic piece off is so we can get this piece right here to go around the inner fender there. And then you're gonna to wanna to just tighten this down. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure that that's all set up. So when we're ready to tighten it down, we can. And you're gonna to wanna to have the foam piece on the painted part of the inner fender so that you don't wreck your paint. And now we can put that spacer in between the mirror And I wanna show you just how that looks. So you can see I got the spacer in there. And basically you're doing that so that you're not gonna wreck the paint by tightening it down too hard. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to grab your Torx 40 again and start screwing that in. It's kind of a long bolt. Now they say it to do six pounds of pressure on there when you're tightening that down. Um, I'd say just get it kind of snug and if it's vibrating too much or whatever, you can uh, definitely loosen that up. And we might even have to loosen it up to get the next bolt in, which goes in the bottom of the door. Yep, I'm gonna have to loosen this up. Now I can adjust that. This one is a Torx 40 as well. But you can hand tighten it until you get it in there. All right. There we go. So now that's how it should look. Once your mirror is on there correctly, you're gonna to wanna to tighten down all your bolts just to make sure that they're snug. Once again, uh, six pounds of pressure on there. I don't have a Torx wrench. Uh, and then you can reinstall your plastic piece on the inside and you're ready to go with your doors off mirror kit. Pretty easy. All right, everybody, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you learned anything, consider clicking the like, subscribe, and share button. And if I helped you out in any way, saved you some time, consider the super thanks button. It helps me out personally a lot. And in fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to how to take your hard top off your JL Wrangler in the upper right, a link to how to take your doors off your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest Wrangler videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. Uh, thank you so much for checking out the video and I hope it was helpful. Any comments, questions, concerns, scathing rebuttals, put them in the comments section below and I'd be happy to answer them. I check those every day. So thanks again for checking out the video and uh, until our next Wrangler meet, thanks again.